Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 33 of New Horizons. Uh, today we're going to start off with an enchant. So, uh, it's a, these are a little bit more um, time intensive than a normal vanilla enchant. So I'm just going to do the one level uh, there are four other levels to feather falling, uh, but I'm just going to put one on it for now, and then I'll do the others off camera. I have all of the stuff ready for, you know, four different levels. Um, I even have all of the uh, aspects waiting for all four levels, but again, this will take a little bit of time, and uh, I just wanted to get this one. Oh, here we go. I guess it didn't have to smack me around to get just one level. There. Oh, well that didn't take long at all. Feather falling one. Maybe we'll do two. We'll do two. Ow. There we go. Yay. Excellent. Um, come here. <laughs> Feather falling too. Okay, well, that'll be good for now. And I'll put this, uh, this other stuff in here for now. And that can go over there. And let's put that over there too. We're going to be using this. Okay, so I had I made up a couple of animation cores um because I want to make a harvest core. And it has Messis and Mito uh is what I need for it. Only um the only thing that I've found that has uh the Mesis or the me toe or hose and the one I decided to use was iron because I know I could um, I can make uh, if you look at the iron hoe which I don't have on me so let's go let's go down here and make let's make um, I think we need five Let's make one and see. We'll just leave that out there. Can you see it from there? Oh yeah, it has uh, three Mito and five Metallum. So if I have some nuggets ready, so I figure once I get my cores done, I can use that metallum, throw in some nuggets and get um, get some iron nuggets back. Does <laughs> I, know, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm using iron to make iron, but I, I'm only trying to clear the, the metallum up so I don't have as much taint. So yeah. Let's see, we'll need two more of those. There. So that's the plan at least. And if I have five, that'll be 25. I'll need 25 of these. Okay. 
So we'll get 25 nuggets back. Uh, actually, will we? Actually, no, we'll get 30 nuggets back. So, so we, uh, we'll actually get some of the iron back. But not, um, so if I used 10, actually we'll get 50. Um, 50 nuggets, 9, um, so that would be, well, not, no, it'll get, it'll get over half of, of the iron back, so that's not too bad. Okay, so we also need some, uh, I forgot it. Oh, I don't think I have any, any weed at all here. Okay. So let's just go, uh, and I'm not sure which one would be better. So I'll look at all of them. I'll look at wheat, uh, bread, and hay. Because, uh, let's see, that is three of uh, wheat, bread, and hay. Quicksilver has it, but I don't want to use that. Uh, so we need to make a bread. I think I have some over here, some bread. No? No, I have wheat, which has two and a hunger, that has ten and nine. Mm. So let's take three, three wheat. Have I ever... Okay, so it all has hunger. What can you do with can you make anything out of hunger? Oh, man. That's going to be a tough one. I don't remember any recipes that take that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of the metal ones take it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember anything that takes... No. Hmm. I don't know. We might just have to eat that. Okay, so... Let's put that back in there. Um, which one's going to have the least? That's two for one. So that would be four and two, or that's four and three. And this would be ten and five, or that's ten and nine. So it would definitely be better to use plain wheat. All right. So we're going to be making two, uh, three, three of those. So we need four. Fifteen Mises. Nope, wrong one. So that means we need eight. That'll give us sixteen and then uh, eight. Eight hunger. Okay, 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 okay. So we need these hoes and the wheat and then we can throw the nuggets in after and hope that we can clear up uh, at least most of the metallum. Yay! Okay. Whew. Doesn't that look low? Should I refill it? I don't know. Alright. Let's look at the recipe again. We put... Uh, uh, the wheat and the shovels in. 
I mean the hose and then we toss in the animation cores and then uh, the nuggets do, 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 do. okay so I guess we could put in all four of these we're gonna have to hurry and we'll want to put in those those are an afterthought because we definitely want to make sure we get the animation cores okay here goes okay excellent oh no we got 18 metallum in there I guess we ran out of water dang it okay let's get some more water in there Okay, if we throw there we go so we only got eight in there I wonder can I fill this up even though it's got yeah okay cool so we only got a little bit that little bit of hunger was in there that's awesome and our three golem animation cores for harvest. Um, these are pretty simple to make the the order cores. Just a shard with eight nuggets around it. Um, would definitely want to make those for the other ones. And right now all I have is a straw golem. Uh, and I'll make that one over uh, off camera or something or more if I if I need them so I have an area down already ready by the chickens let me out of here but it's it's not hoed so we'll need to grab I I made up um, a wooden hoe and a stone hoe to uh, inspect so let's go down ah! and I figure I can either a get one of the the cool brooms to clean up they have a pretty big area or I can just whatever fits uh, the brooms are pretty easy um let's see oh I didn't bring anything down here to plant oh, I I hate it when I forget things <laughs> I think I want to do um carrots or potatoes Okay, good. This one will be enough. All right. Um, let's see. Actually, what I want. is uh, this is that exact uh, it's a crafting pad it's portable let's just clear this stuff out Doot. oh there we go and we'll also need I need to reho one of those see if this works. I never tried a chest there before. Let's see, can you place a torch on top of it? No! 
okay. Because, see, that's going to make it uh, too dark in the middle, I think. Okay. So, if I use a broom, I think I can just... Uh, yeah, so that wasn't... I can put the chest here. Is that leaving any dark spots? And I'll just put that back. Sorry! Because uh, the growth rate of carrots and potatoes is the same as for wheat. And wheat needs, uh, if it has a appropriate light level, it'll grow faster. So, yeah. Alright, now, um, I guess let's go, go up. And we'll grab some... I don't know. Let's grab some potatoes. I know carrots are used uh, two. I think one stack should be enough. And we'll throw this back up there. <coughs> Skip back down there. See if we can get this working. Boing. <coughs> okay. Um, we can put a broom there. And... Let's see. We want to make it a harvest golem. And... There you go. Okay, so I guess uh, this isn't actually going to be enough. Hey dude, scooch over. Oh, I guess this really isn't enough because it's a 9x9 nine nine and... Yeah! So there we go. And I guess I'll have to go run up and get more to fill this up. Because with the, the order upgrade, let me get out of chicken range. Okay, if you look at the harvest, um, over here, harvest, harvest golems fitted with this upgrade will now attempt to replant the crop crop they just harvested. This could fail if the plant failed to drop the proper seed or seedling. Well, that won't be a problem with this because uh, as soon as it's ready, it drops potatoes. So th that won't ever be a problem with potatoes and carrots because it'll at least drop one and then it can always replant it. Uh, wheat, on the other hand, could fail because sometimes it doesn't drop any seeds. So, uh, let's go up and get some more potatoes. Nope, I don't want to go that way. I get so turned around up there. I'm going to have to, like, make signs to tell m which direction what is facing. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just grab this whole stack. And then we'll have potatoes. And I thought about expanding that area down there to accommodate another farm. So I could put like carrots and potatoes ah, on the one end. Like uh, just, just make another room out here. I would go out that way, but 
I already expanded this area over there. So, yeah. That wouldn't get me very far. And I can't go that way because the chickens are over there. So, I'm going to expand this one out. Another 9x9 nine nine pad with a little walkway around it. And that should be groovy. I can make uh, carrots over there. And then um, I'll probably go ahead and just clean this up and clear this area out and put like wheat on this side and then go another one out like over there and make a melon and pumpkin farm. And then that would cover all of the base vanilla things. So that'll be awesome. Okay, so yay, we did it. Uh, <laughs> I guess I could um, pause the video, but I'm sort of running out of time, so I can't really see it, uh, how he's going to do how he's going to do his job. So um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, go just make a short episode this time and next time I'll go over how well this guy is doing and I'll oh, we could go make a broom. Um yeah, let's let's go make a broom. This this one. Um whew. I just need to grab some two of these. I don't believe I have a hay bale down here. Yeah, okay. So let's just run up and go grab a hay bale. And then we can make uh, the enchanted broom so that when that guy starts harvesting, it will get picked up. I know I have some already made out here. All right, and we can just do that right here. We actually have the sticks. You just do that. And you get a broom. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> I like the broom look. It makes me, you know, feel like I'm I'm the lady in the the cartoon for Tom and Jerry. You know, always chasing Tom around with the broom. Okay, let's see if we can there we go. So, this little guy will gather up our stuff for us. Yay! <laughs> that didn't take long at all to get that broom, huh? Okay, so I'm going to monitor these guys and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, we'll call it here and I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.